Now I'm going to talk about type in Photoshop and the type tool and to bring that up you can hit T or you can just select your type tool in the toolbox or your tools panel and you could just single click to type something or if you have larger bodies of text you can click and drag and then you could type in here. Now, to jump out of here, you can see in our layers panel that we have our type. And I'm just going to throw on a quick layer style just to make this a little more interesting. And there we go. Now, there's a couple places where we can access the type. You have your double click in the layers panel. That will bring up the type options in your options bar. And it will also select your type and in the options bar you have your little type menu here you toggle the character and path panels and that will pop up your character and your paragraph or you can access that by window character brings up the same exact menu now I'm just gonna make this easier to see make a selection and then crop and then we have our type tool and I could zoom in a little bit here and it's a little bit easier to see so again I'm going to double click my type it's selected and we have our options bar here with some options now we have our orientation which depending on how large your type is, let's set this down to like 50 and change our orientation, you can see that our orientation changes and we could change our alignment and go back. I'm going to set this back to something large and then we have our typeface or a font family and next we have our font style which if this particular font had um, bold or italic etc this is where you would select that we have our font size and then we have our anti-aliasing which is none you can see that um, zooming in here it becomes very chunky and hard lined because there's no anti-aliasing or there's no grays to smooth it out we have sharp crisp strong and smooth and these are some pretty good options for you to um, to mess with depending on the background that you have your type on or the size of it or um, it also deals with type on the web and graphics so you can kind of mix and match and play with those a little bit to get the best result then we have our alignment we can center it in our box right justify left justify and then we also have our color you could adjust your color here and then we also have our warp text which will create um, some warp style text for you on our drop down you have arc and this is going to get a little craziness here um, because of our canvas size let's change our font size a little bit let's set this down to like 50 or how about 75 go back into that do our arc again and we could shift this around so we could see what it's doing and there's some controls for each different warp arc lower bulge and it's based off of your bounding box so everything is being warped in this bounding box here 
Now to change that, and we just want to warp our type, let's cancel out of here. I'm going to create new type without dragging a box. I'm just going to do type tool. Let's move that. I'm going to apply my layer style. Double click, change my size, and then go back to the warp. And you could see that it's localized to that type now. It's not to the bounding box, it's to the actual type. Then we could do bulge and create different kinds of type effects this way. And then once you're done, you could take the checkbox and there's your type. Now when you're in the type mode, when you're double clicked and your type is selected, you can't really use any hotkeys because if you do, you're going to start typing things. So it's one thing to be mindful about that you have to kind of exit manually by either hitting the checkbox or hitting the marquee tool and that will take you out of the type mode. Now if you make changes and you hit the escape key, you will escape out of the type mode with a type tool and then your changes aren't going to stick. See there you go. So make your changes, hit the checkbox, and then your changes are there. Next let's go over a character panel. I'm going to shift this over and zoom in a little bit and then bring up our character panel and I'm going to tear this off temporarily And just like all of our panels, we have the drop down menu that is specific to our type. And so the first ones we have are full bold, full italic, all caps. Now these are exclusive to Photoshop. And what they do is sort of kind of faux or fake effect the characters or your type. Um, like this particular typeface doesn't have an italic. So you can sort of force one by using this feature and create kind of a warp or an effect on your type to create an italic. That's why they call it faux bold and faux italic. Because it's obviously the best way to do this is to use the bold and the italic and the font style that is in your actual font family. But it's just an option for you to do that. And you have underline, strike through, and some other type options that you can play with here. Now, again, you have your font family, your font style, your size, your kerning, your leading, and your tracking. Then we also have your vertical scale, baseline shift, horizontal scale, color, and then the exclusive type effects or the faux effects on the bottom here as buttons. Language, anti-aliasing. And that's pretty much the character panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click this. I'm going to put a return in here. And let me shift this over and zoom in. And then we could talk about the leading and the kerning. So when you shift these numbers, you can see that the vertical space between them are increasing. You can also mouse over these and drag. And you could do the same for the spacing in between your characters.
And so that's a way to adjust your text as well. Now let's look at the paragraph panel. And let's bring that up and go window, paragraph. And I'm going to dock this. And we can see that we have alignment here. Double click my text. I'm going to change this one to a different color. And we could align these in different ways. We could justify them in different ways. And we could change our margins and we could hyphenate, which basically means if the text wraps, it will hyphenate the word. I'm going to go out, my type tool, double click, and just type in some stuff. And now we can look at our different justifications. And they will space things accordingly. And that's pretty much it for our character and our paragraph. And just a basic overview of the type tool. And it's pretty flexible. And um, that's about it for that.